Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to focus on opinion writing. Now, opinion writing is different than what we were doing last week when we were writing to give information. We weren't talking about ourselves, but we were giving information. Today we're going to do opinion writing, which is different. We're telling about ourselves this time. Okay, now we started opinion writing a little bit while we were still in class, but I want us to review so we can talk about what it is we're writing about. So what is opinion writing? An opinion is the way you feel or think about something. And that's just for you, how you feel about it and how you think about it. Okay, so when you're writing to tell an opinion, you write about how you feel about something or what you think about something, but that's not it. You have to also give a reason or supporting detail by saying because. So you might say, I like hearts because they are red. Okay, or my favorite color is pink because it is bright. Okay, so first I talk about how I feel about it or what I think about something and then I give reasoning or supporting detail. Okay, so it's some steps to our opinion writing. First we think, like over here we see the boy, he's thinking. Do I like red apples? Do I like green apples? Or do I like yellow apples? And then number two, you have to decide. Hmm, I think he decided he likes red apples. But now he can't just leave it there. He has to explain. I like red apples because they are juicy. Or my favorite is a red apple because it is juicy. Or I think red apples are the best because they are juicy. So those are some different sentence frames that you can use when you are making um, an opinion writing, okay? So in our Zoom last week, we were started to talk about opinions and we were deciding what our opinion was if we would rather have a pet snake or a pet tarantula. And again, we have to say, why? And you guys came up with some really great answers and reasonings and opinions of whether you would like to have a snake or a tarantula. So first we have to brainstorm. We have to think about it like our steps. So if I brainstorm, I'm going to use my circle map to brainstorm. So let's, you all brainstormed already in the Zoom. So let's think about some things that we brainstormed of why we might want a pet tarantula. Some of you said, I would like a pet tarantula because it has eight legs. Some of you said, I would like a pet tarantula because it is fuzzy. Some of you said, I would like a pet tarantula because it is, because it is a kind of spider or because a pet tarantula is easy to take care of or because it is quiet or because it can crawl on you or because it is small. So these were some different great things that you all said or that we might think of reasonings why a pet tarantula would make a good pet. But not all of you wanted a pet tarantula. Some of you said that you would rather have a pet snake. Now here were some ways that we could brainstorm ideas of why we might want a pet snake. So instead of a tarantula, you might want a pet snake. I like a pet snake because it can slither. I would like a pet snake because it is slimy. I would like a pet snake because it has no legs. I would like a pet snake because it is a reptile. I would like a pet snake because it sheds its skin. I would like a pet snake because it can be nice. Not all snakes are mean, we were talking about in our Zoom. So these are some different ideas of why you might want a pet snake. So now we brainstormed ideas of a pet tarantula and ideas of a pet snake. So now that we've 
brainstormed, we have to decide which one do you want? So Miss Montiel is going to decide. I'm going to write about a pet tarantula because I have actually got a chance to hold a tarantula before and it was pretty cool. So now we get to get started with our writing. So now you can either print your paper off of Schoology with the lines, or you can take a blank piece of paper and set it up. Okay, so I have set up my writing paper here. I drew my line, so I have a space for my sentence and a space for my picture. And I wrote name up here so you can write your name on the top. Okay, so you either have your paper from Schoology or you have your setup writing paper here on a blank piece of paper. So I'm going to choose, like I said, I had brainstormed and decided I was going to draw about a tarantula. So my sentence is going to say, I like a pet tarantula because it can crawl. Okay, so that's nine words that I need in my sentence. So I practice saying my sentence before I write it. Now remember, we're going to use our sounds to write our sentence. So we don't need to copy it from anyone or ask anyone how to spell it. Parents, please trust me, inventive spelling is totally perfect. We want them to hear the sounds, okay? So just like we would in class, starting with I, and I need a capital because that's the beginning of my sentence. I like, that's a sight word. So I'm gonna put my finger space and write my sight word, like. I like a finger space, that's a sight word. So I know how to spell it. I like a pet. That's not a sight word, so I need to stretch it and sound it out. P. Ooh, I hear a P, but remember, first I need a finger space. P. Eh, eh, eh. I hear my egg card. P. Eh. Pet. The last sound I hear is t, 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 like my turtle card. T. Okay, so, so far I have, I like a pet tarantula. Ooh, let's see what sounds I hear in tarantula when I spread, stretch it out. I'm just going to do my best. So, t -t -t, I hear a T at the beginning. Tr I hear a R, like our rose card. Tr I hear an A, tr -a -a, tarantula, tarantula. Hmm, it's a little bit tricky. Tarantula. I hear another t. Tarantula. Tula. I hear an L and I hear a uh, uh, uh. Okay, so again, it doesn't have to be spelled perfectly, just what sounds I hear. So I like a pet tarantula, okay? But now I have to write why I like my pet tarantula. So I need to use my sight word because. So finger space and I'm gonna write my word because. B, E, C, A, U, S E and I know how to spell the word because because it's my sight word. Okay. I like a pet tarantula because it can crawl. So I'm missing three words still. Okay, because it that's a sight word. I T. Okay. I like a pet tarantula because it finger space can, that's another sight word, so I know how to spell it. I like a pet tarantula because it 
can finger space crawl let me see what sounds i hear in crawl k -k -k. do i hear a k let's see Cur here are like my rose card Cur ah 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 like my octopus card my vowel o crawl l l now i hear a l at the end okay so let me read my sentence i like a pet tarantula because it can crawl now i need a period at the end of my sentence i'm going to make sure it has all nine words that i said at the beginning one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have all nine of my words. I like a pet tarantula because it can crawl. And I just did my best job sounding out my words. Now that we've completed our writing, we need to check our writing. Do I have a capital at the beginning? Do I have finger spaces? Do I have a period at the end? Did I use my sounds to spell the words? Does my sentence make sense? Hmm, if you have all those things, great job. Give yourself a big thumb up. Now it's time to work on our drawing. So you wanna make sure that you're drawing a picture that matches your story. So your picture is not gonna look like this one because we didn't draw about cats. We drew about either a snake or a tarantula. So go ahead and do your drawing and then come back and check your work of your drawing. So let's check our drawing. Does my picture match my sentence? Is it about a snake or a tarantula? Is there a character in the drawing? That would be you because you're the one who likes it. Does my person have all its parts? It's not a stick figure. It has clothes and it has fingers and feet and hair and all of its eye and nose and mouth. Okay, does my person have all of its parts? Do I have a setting? Where is my person? Did I use realistic colors? And do I have at least five details in my picture? Making sure I also have the object of the snake or the tarantula in my details. Okay, and if you've done all those things in your drawing, boys and girls, give yourselves a big thumbs up. Great job. Thanks so much for writing this week. Can't wait to see your pictures either on Schoology or email to us. Thank you.